Hi, beautiful souls. This is Ashu here. And today I will be sharing with you what I realized during my Kundalini awakening process. So if you would like to check it out, stay tuned as I will be sharing with you uh, based upon my experiences of more than around now going to be 20 years, uh, how I sailed through this navigational compass of uh, spiritual growth and awakening to uh, what is happening in my vibrational frequency during this process, uh, ranging from uh, symptoms that may cause a lot of panic, anxiety, to the symptoms of blissfulness, to the knowing around what happens when we are going through this process. So all the information given here is based upon my personal experiences. I never read or studied anything about Kundalini. So whatever I channel here and speak about is from the direct experience. So right now I'm in the integration phase of the Kundalini awakening process where I feel that that alien energy that I felt was trying to infiltrate into my vibrational frequency is no longer that much alien and uh, an integration is happening. So I would like to share with you in this video what I realized that how Kundalini awakening is raising your vibrational frequency and the first thing that I would like to point out is that I realize is that she's trying to raise your vibrational frequency by acquainting you with your fears. So there's no way that you can escape from your fears that are stored in your subconscious frequency or in your subconscious layers so she's trying to kind of pull out one after another all the cluttered uh, frequencies that are cluttering your auric field the purpose of the kundalini awaken is to purify your field of consciousness to purify your sense of self so as if you have watched my other videos, I do talk about depersonalization. I talk about conditioning because this is what this energy is doing. She's trying to decondition all those knots, all those twists in your system that are the cause of uh, disease, that are the cause of any kind of emotion, narratives, beliefs, ideas from your system, which are separating you from the supreme frequency of aligning yourself with highest universal energy of co-creation that wants you to experience united consciousness, that wants you to experience one consciousness. So a lot of people I find they resist their symptoms, they resist positivity when they're going through the, this process. So when you talk about something that uh, can, uh, more about positivity, more about how we resist a lot of things in our lives because of our own defensive mechanisms are so put in place as protective mechanisms that we don't want to go into more discomfort when we are going through a Kundalini awakening process. I do consult people and I notice all this that how people are not ready, though they are going through this process. They've taken Shakti part because they wanted to feel the bliss. So there's no shortcut in Kundalini awakening to bliss as well. First, you have to do your homework. First, the mother, the nurturing mother wants you to do your homework and you have to excel in doing your homework. And if you excel, then only you move forward in this journey of evolutionary uh process of awakening to your sense of self and realizing your sense of self, only then you can connect with that highest frequency of universal alignment that wants to make you realize how you are not segregated, how you are not separate sense of self from others existing around you. So the core is to bring you into united consciousness, oneness, so that you can have more peace in your heart and in your mind so that you can your innate sense of default unsafety is put to rest is put to peace so that 
at your subconscious level, you know that you're protected, you're safe, you're aligned, you are connected with the highest frequency. That is the universal energy, um, the energy that has created this entire a dream we call the world around us. So this is an energy of ultimate peace. This is an energy of ultimate love. That is an energy of ultimate uh, connection with your sense of self uh, that vibrates at a higher frequencies of love, light, and laughter. I came across laughter yoga and I practice laughter yoga as a source of joyfulness, as a source of who I truly am, how I was created and co-created in the dream of this universe as a joyful uh, little child who came into this world and how we have forgotten to stay connected with that core of our sense of self. So when I laugh for no reason, I laugh from that space, from that consciousness. And a lot of people resist this because our own negativities, our own resistance to connect ourselves with the joy that we truly are stops us from laughing unconditionally. Because when we came into this world, we were we came like little children who need no reason to laugh. So if you can connect with that space within your heart, within your mind, where that little child in you is still connected from a space of innocence, from a space of peace with the universal aligned energies, there is nothing better than that. <laughs> so that's what I realized because I think I was destined to realize it because my pain pattern, the chronic pain pattern, I started experiencing after my Kundalini awakening lasted for more than 14 years. And Laughter yoga helped me to get rid of that pain pattern. So I knew the quotation, laughter is the best medicine, is so true. There is something in this frequency of unconditional laughter that truly helps us to get past our insecurities, fears, resistance. If you are going through this awakening process, because laughing for no reason is not easy. It's not a child's play for an adult. But if you practice it, if you are keen, if you're motivated to reach into that vibrational frequency of true joy, I think this is a very good yogic path to start on as it's so fun. And it does help in taking out the knots from your energetic system that is stopping you from laughing unconditionally and embracing the joy within your own heart, a joy that needs no reason, that needs no conditions to embrace yourself, to embrace your divinity, to embrace the peace within you, to embrace the fun within you, to embrace the divine within you. So I realized that we are meant to live each day from a space of safety, from a space of peace, from a safe space of connection with each other. So, and when I say I want to send all my love to all of you who are uh, my followers on this channel, who have subscribed, who listen to my videos, because this helps me to connect with you sharing energy with you so right now i'm feeling a vibration of love for all of you so i'm sending you all the love wherever you are in whatever part of the world you are in lots of love lots of love lots of love to all of you as we stand united in our consciousness <laughs> So I realized that each day must be lived from a space of connection, from a connection that comes from a safety of how I belong, not only to my family, but I belong to a larger universe. I belong to the larger group of people. And I have a purpose to uh, serve that larger group of people. And that can only happen when we let go of our attachments, which are fixated on a very narrow boundaries our sense of self has created out of our defensive mechanisms and out of the fear-based thinking. So my friends, I think I would like to stop here. I feel like 
stopping here. So I will stop here as I just spoke what wanted to come through today, through me to you. <laughs> so I'll see you soon in my next video. If you have any question, then do let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to see you in my next video. Till then, you keep smiling, laughing, loving, and accessing the peace within your own heart. Love you all. Stay blessed. Bye.